For this movie, we're making an eco-friendly surfboard made from upcycled packaging foam under the guidance of the Sustainable Surf Foundation. I'm working alongside my uncle, Mickey Munoz. He was an early shaper and team rider for Hobie Surfboards. My father, Terry Martin, was one of the first to shape for the legendary Hobie Altar. I witnessed him shape 10 boards a day for years. His nickname was The Machine. Hobie'd say he was the greatest and most prolific shaper of all time. Today we're making the blank for this eco board out of packaging foam that was destined for the landfill. We're gluing the blocks together just like we would an old balsa wood board. The wood stringer we stuck down the center, it's urban salvage redwood. Our goal is to make a sustainable surfboard that resembles one that they might have ridden in the endless summer. We'll also be adding archival elements from the original film into the surfboard's design. Together with my uncle Mickey Munoz and my good friend, surfer and shaper Tyler Warren, we're hand shaping this surfboard blank that we glued up with recycled shipping foam. Next, it'll be glassed with green room epoxy. It's a partially plant-based resin. Tyler was mentored by my dad and we're using some of his old templates and tools. Our goal is to make a surfboard that resembles a board that they would have surfed in the Endless Summer movie. What we're doing is similar to the way Hobie would have made a balsa wood board in 1950. Now we're at the glassing stage. This board is a rideable museum piece dedicated to the endless summer. We're adding a photo of Bruce Brown, an old paper clipping with the address of John Whitmore's surfboard shop, and a small promo from the screening of the endless summer in South Africa presented by Whitmore. We found an old ad for a Bolex camera, which is what the film would have actually been shot on. We're also adding an old scrap of tape with Bruce's handwriting on it from one of the rolls of film he actually used to shoot the movie. We also have a piece of original 35 millimeter film that has the movie titles on it. We thought that'd look really cool in the tail block. Since we created this one of a kind upcycled blank and we're using this plant-based resin, the board was rated a gold level eco board by Sustainable Surf. Now it's a certified sustainable piece of history. Okay, the board is done. And man, are we stoked on the final product. This board sustains the past, and it's a tribute to people like Hobie and Bruce Brown. While at the same time, it's an example of surfing's constant evolution. An eco board like this inspires us to keep our oceans cleaner so that surfing can continue to spread stoke around the world. Just like Dick Metz did back in the late 1950s when he first met John Whitmore on that Cape Town beach.